Hi there, it's Baz at Got a Ukulele, and I thought I'd do a video for beginners on different types of tuning pegs and the um, issues some people have with them. What I've got here is a range of friction tuning pegs, but um, particularly if you're buying a beginner instrument, you're either going to get these or you're going to get geared tuners. Now, on the whole, these are geared tuners. Sometimes these are sealed, sometimes these are open and you can see the gear. On the whole, I find that geared tuners um, are a lot more reliable on cheaper ukes. This is on an Ohana uke and it, they're very good quality. Um, they are kind of um, fit and forget. The problem with ultra cheap geared tuners is the gears that are in here can be made from a soft sort of metal and you'll get a grinding sound. Sometimes they'll stick or sometimes they will just turn at the peg here and nothing will happen because the gears have failed. But generally speaking, on cheaper uh, beginning ukes such as the Macala Dolphin, which uses some very, very cheap open geared tuners, I've not had a problem with them. What I hear the most is people complaining about what are called friction tuners, which is the traditional ukulele tuning peg. Uh, this here is a friction tuner taken off um, a fairly cheap ukulele. Um, and I think they get a bad press because uh, actually you get what you pay for. So the basic parts of the friction tuner, this is the post that goes through the uke. You can see the hole in it there where the string winds. This collar goes in the top of the headstock and hides the hole and basically the magic works between this piece and this piece. When it's tightened up on the uke, that creates friction between the peg and this collar. And you tighten it with this adjustment screw and you tighten it so far as it will turn but it will bite. So basically on this one, which is a, a low level tuning peg, you are creating friction between plastic and plastic. And this is what people will uh, comment about the most, that they are sticky, that they're either loose or they are uh, too tight to turn or jerky and then you find when you're tuning them you over tune and then you undershoot and then you overshoot and it really doesn't need to be like that so let's just have a look at the three types this little tuning peg here came off that ultra cheap uke that you may have seen on got ukulele that I took apart and these are really really horrible this is basically using plastic against a cardboard washer uh, as you can see that there and that is the friction um, as you can imagine, the adjustment level on that is going to be pretty horrible, um, and these are going to give you a headache. That sort of intermediate one, now you see these on ultra cheap ukes, but you also see them on ukes like the Flea and the Fluke. It's a standard entry level Goto type friction tuner. They're all right. Once you're used to friction tuners, um, I, I can kind of get adjusted to them, but because you just got plastic on plastic, I mean, they are the parts, that's the whole thing. Um, you find that they do stick and they are jerky, and I think that's what most people complain about. This was an aftermarket pickup that I bought from Southern Ukulele Store. It's unbranded, but it's based on a go-to. Uh, and as you can see, there's all sorts of parts going on in here. Uh, these are actually a few pounds each, as opposed to these being a few pence each. And this, from what I can tell, having taken some others apart, is pretty much the sort of tuner that you're going to get on a Koaloa Soprano, so a high-end Hawaiian ukulele. Um, and with these, once they're tightened up, they turn like butter. I don't quite know how it works. Uh, it's the number of parts that are in there that does it. But they are an absolute dream to use. They hold, they turn like geared tuners, but wind a lot quicker, which is the benefit of friction tuners. And... They look great as well. They are they ooze quality. So I'm just going to pause the video for a bit, and then we'll get the screwdriver to these, and I'll show you uh, what really makes that difference in terms of numbers of parts. Okay, we're back again. So let's look at these pegs in a bit more detail. Going to the absolute cheapest off the uh, broken ukulele, we have the screw, the tuning peg the cardboard washer. This sits on the back of the headstock and then on the front of the headstock the little cover plate and the tuning peg. The friction is happening between these two points and that's pretty much nothing at all. Going back to the most common sort of friction tuner that you'll see on the flea and other ukuleles we have the screw, the tuning peg, a plastic uh, collar and then this is on the back of the headstock and then on the front the collar and the tuning post. The friction here is happening between these two parts, plastic onto plastic, which is better than plastic onto cardboard, but can still be very sticky and take a bit of getting used to. Where you see the real difference is, is on the good pegs, 
uh, that will cost you a few pounds each where we have the screw which goes through the tuning peg which goes through a washer which goes through another washer which goes through a plastic collar and that plastic collar fits inside that mounting ring this is all on the back of the headstock and then on the front of the headstock a cover piece a plastic collar and the tuning post this is where the friction is happening and as you can see a number of parts making for a very very smooth use um, this plastic washer here helping the tuning post turn smoothly and hold it in place as well so all in all what you're finding here is a, a tuning peg that you can hold and tighten so that it does bite but then still turns like absolute butter so if you are moaning tuning pegs and saying that they are impossible to use full stop you're wrong um, buy a good set of tuning pegs friction pegs and uh, they can really work wonderfully I think tuning pegs that face backwards friction pegs like this are really what you want to see on a soprano ukulele I think they just look better um, but there is no reason to accept uh, friction tuning pegs that don't work these work wonderfully so bear in mind that when you're buying your ukulele um, don't necessarily avoid tuning pegs if they've got decent friction tuning pegs like this um, you are going to be fine and that is how the pegs work